what's up guys and thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. So let's take a quick look at the box. We got this nice yellow background that matches the Super Saiyan hair color. We got Vegeta here pulling off Final Flash. We got all these company logos down here. We got the top on the side we got that smirk. Typical Vegeta. On the bottom here Super Saiyan Vegeta. Super Saiyan Vegeta on the side. Now on the back we got all these cool poses and we got Vegeta here with trunks. As we can see Super Saiyan trunks sold separately. So that's it for the box. So let's get this figure in here. So here we have Super Saiyan Vegeta. We got a very nice figure here. And I don't know if you guys remember from my last video which was the uh, or well, the last Vegeta video, which was the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. He had a much darker uh, suit on, and this one's actually much brighter blue. So, got some nice shading in the hair. I don't know if you can see that. Some, like, light orange shading there. Also got some shading here in the crotch area. And I think that's actually it for the shading. But it's still nice to see some shading on these figure arts figures, because uh, recent figure arts figures really don't have much shading to them, so... Let's get on with articulation. So head is on a uh, ball joint and hinge and swivel. Base of the neck is on a ball joint. We got a butterfly joint that goes out this far. We also got a ball joint at the shoulder. We got a hinge that goes out this far. Also got bicep swivel. We got elbow bend that goes up that far. And we got a ball joint in the wrist with a hinge and a swivel. Now getting these arms out of the way, if we extend the torso a little bit, we can get an ab crunch that far, and we get that far back. Pretty good. Now waist is on a ball joint as usual. Now legs kick forward this far, and again, if you guys remember from my uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta review, uh, something with the molding that just allows this to go this far, and that's not the most impressive kick, I'll have to say. Same thing back, not the greatest. In terms of the splits, same thing. It's only around a little over 90 degrees. Not the best. He does have a thigh swivel. And he's got knee bend that goes up that far. A double, whoops, ball jointed ankle. Let's pop that back on. There we go. And we also got a toe pivot that goes up that far. So pretty standard SH Figure Arts articulation. Now make sure he's all nice and cool looking. And let's take a look at some of the accessories that come with this guy. Now, he has three extra faces. So he has the neutral face on him right now. We got a screaming face. We got a screaming looking off to the left face. And we also got a smirking face. So to change the faces, again, I'm just gonna put two fingers here at the very closest top hair and one on the chin and just give that a little tug you see big peg hole and two smaller pegs it's gonna take our smirking face and oh just so you know that we do have shading on all these faces as well don't know if i can pick up There's some shading here and some shading in those creases so very nice attention to detail i'm just gonna pop that right on just like so and here we got vegeta with a smirk just like that all right, and he comes with a bunch of hands. So we have the open palm energy blast hands. We have the claw energy blast hands. We also have Vegeta's signature battle pose hands, which are more of like a trigger finger claw rather than Goku's like two finger claw. So. There's that, and we also get one of again one of Vegeta's signature hands, the the thumbs up, or rather, I am the Prince of All Saiyans hand. Just like where Goku has the instant transmission hand, he always gets this. So, and to switch the hands, of course, we're gonna grab the forearm, grab the hand, pop that right off, and we're going to just take that ball socket, put it on that ball joint, and here we got Vegeta being all badass. I am the prince of all Saiyans. Now, 
Vegeta does come with another accessory, which is a pair of crossed hands, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'm actually not going to put this on him, but I will show you what it looks like uh, when we do comparisons, because I have another figure that's already uh, equipped with this uh, set of folded arms. So, And with that being said, let's get on with the comparisons. So, here we have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and this is what it looks like with the uh, arms crossed. So all we're doing is literally we're popping the arms off at the shoulder joint and we're literally taking um, these two peg holes and we're just going to peg them onto the stubs that are, um, I guess, his arms after you pull the arms off. And then you just fold it across his chest, make sure it's nice and snug, and this is what the crossed arm uh, looks like. So. so there's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Make sure he can stand. There you go. And we also have the... Majin Vegeta, which looks very similar to this guy right here. And of course, we also have the OG evil little Vegeta. Make sure you can stand just like that. And just for comparison's sake, we got his good buddy Goku right here. And last but not least, the ultimate Vegeta figure, Grade 8 Vegeta right here. And I'm just going to tilt that up a little bit so you can see where his head's at. Yeah, very big guy. So let's get these guys off to the side. And this guy too. Get him off. So yeah, that's my review of the, uh, the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button so I know to make more of these videos. And if you enjoy watching video reviews of figures, cards, games, and sometimes even movies, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye. Chala, hey, chala.